Hi, welcome to our video tutorial on how to use our data logger. Uh, our school uses the Edit Station data logger. It's called the A Mixer MGA, and it has three channels here with which we can plug in different sorts of sensors and uh, very just a few simple buttons for us to work with. Uh, there's of course the on off switch. The record button and the stop button and some buttons for you to navigate. Okay, so when you switch on the data logger, this is what you should see. Let me just angle it so you can see it better. Okay, so you'll see a graph interface. Uh, you could toggle between this and the meter interface. Okay, but usually we will be using the graph interface. Alright. So in this video, video tutorial, the first thing we are going to try to do is to measure the temperature of something. Okay, so uh, what you do is first switch on the data logger and plug in this temperature sensor into any of the channels. doesn't matter which one. I plugged into channel 1. Um, if your fingers are too fat like mine, you probably can use a stylus, just like this one. There, if you can see here, it reads channel 1 temperature. The range of the temperature sensor is between 20, negative 20 to 120 degrees Celsius. So you can pretty much measure the whole uh, melting and boiling process of water. Okay, so on the vertical axis here you'll find the temperature and on the horizontal axis you'll find the time all right so in order to start recording the temperature what I'll do is I'll press the green button you can see the graph slowly forming okay this is uh, the graph of the temperature variation over time of course there's no variation right now because um, the temperature the thermometer is in it's not immersed in anything hot or cold and you can read the value on top here the room temperature right now is about 27.28.7 degrees celsius okay the room temperature is 28.7 degrees celsius when i immerse this thermometer this temperature probe or temperature sensor into hot water you can see the temperature slowly rising both in the graph and in the valley so now it's about 50 degrees and it's slowly reaching an equilibrium okay. so you just keep on logging the values for the last 60 minutes by default so of course you can change the settings accordingly you can change the sampling rate, you can change the duration which you want to with which you want to record. Okay, so now the equilibrium temperature is about 56.1 degrees Celsius. Of course, over time the water will cool down and we'll see a gradual decrease, but as of now, the temperature is 56.1 degrees Celsius. Okay, so this setup could be used to um, track the temperature change of a chemical reaction or the temperature change of a thermodynamic process okay, it could be the boiling or the freezing or melting or something okay, as long as it's within the range of negative 20 to 120 degrees Celsius and once you're done you're happy with the results you can just stop okay, and take out your sensor so the information is recorded in the graph um, if you want to save the graph if you want to save the graph you can choose to save it in the SD Card, which is provided in the box. Okay, so the format that you can save it in will be either a MGA format or a CSV format. Uh, MGA format is a propriety uh, format that's just specific to uh, this company, and as MGA stands for the name of the data logger. Uh, CSV is comma separated values, which you can analyze with Excel. Okay, so if you want to save this um, what you will need first of all of course is to install SD card right now 
this says that there is no SD card installed so what I need to do is to look for an SD card so in the box it comes with the SD card 2 gig standard SD card which we'll insert right here okay so the SD card can be inserted in here face up I believe yeah. so once you push in you should hear a click and when you try to save it in the SD card press on SD choose the format and type in the name that you want call this file number one okay and I'll save it and it's done what I've just saved is the last 60 seconds anything that's been recorded before the last 60 seconds has automatically been deleted okay because I've set the settings to uh, the duration of 60 seconds um, okay so let's look at what this does okay uh, this button over here the third button from the left which shows a little clock is the settings of your sampling okay so you can choose to change the sampling rate okay you can have a range between one sample per second to 32,000 samples per second <coughs> which is pretty high Okay, uh, you could even opt for a very slow sampling where you only collect one data per minute or per hour, per 10 minutes and so on. Okay, so that's really up to you. It depends on the situation. Uh, if you want to record, say, the temperature throughout the day, you probably don't need 10 samples per second. You probably just need one sample per hour or so, or per minute. Okay, so the duration to monitor uh, could be up to one day okay so it can be just a step up from one second all the way to one day okay so of course uh, what we had earlier was just for one minute okay so you can also get it to stop automatically after one minute or to manually stop by pushing the red button over here to stop logging okay. so what we had done earlier was to manually log stop which was uh, by pressing the red button okay uh, you want a close up of the graph, but all you need to do is to press the plus button and click once and for zooming in once, and you can zoom in for as much as you like. There probably is a limit to how long, yeah, there's a limit to how far you can zoom in, and you can also zoom out yeah, to the maximum, which is the 60 seconds that we have the entire duration of our logging. Okay, so that's it for the first tutorial. Hope you had fun and uh, see you again next time.